Hello everybody, for today's chamber we're going to be having a play at Teased, created and recommended by Tinfoil906 as part of an entry to the Next portal, hello, GLaDOS is here, and a companion portals. cube. If the laws of physics no longer apply uh -huh. to the future, to the point. God help you. Ah, uh, she used to sound so emotionless, didn't she? Yes, anyway, this is Teased, created by Tinfoil906 as an entry to the portal's mapping and modding Fizzlerless, fizzlerless, fizzlerless. No fizzlers, no fizzlers at all contest. As in, you know, no fizzlers in the contest. Very difficult to say, makes perfect sense. Kind of embarrassed that was so difficult to get through. Right, we've been delivered a companion cube. As you can see, everything is in old school Portal 1 style, meaning I don't get my cool graphics on my side of my gun because I've never actually gone to the trouble of working out how to fix that. And it's far too late at night for me to bother with that now. We've also got some orange gel being delivered onto a specific panel there. There is panels at the end of the wall, ant line leading all the way up the wall to something that lines up with a gap in glass work there. And there was a bunch of chamber over here. Also, I noticed a button directly below that would be at the other end of that ant line. Also, that ant line splits off. So probably, but the cube on there would be a very good place to start. So you and you grab you. They sound so, uh, metal don't they they're much more metallic in portal one we haven't played a portal one style map in quite a while so i thought it might be a good idea to have one every now and again just for variety's sake that has flipped around a panel up there which very clearly lines up with that gap and this would be a good place for a speed gel track to make use of said gap so let's put you there you there get a bunch of this nice and speedy along here for me stick the orange up on that one that should be more than enough to launch us over this small gap if if i had that lined up with the floor a little bit better apparently because that's a tripping hazard yeah that's clearly way too high that's crotch height you never want your portals at crotch height unless you're doing something very specific but we won't go into that so zoom across here gets us straight across the exit where what are you uh, i wish i'd taken the time to remember what all of those mean I mean, you're doing this, but not this. So in my mind, that clearly says, take the cube off of that button, and it will be this, because that makes sense. I'm sure that's got a very specific uh, logic-based name. So what else we got up here? There's panels each side, and that's, that's it, right? So I'm guessing the door was already open until we placed a cube on that button down, where is it, down there-ish. So go get the cube. Yeah, go get the cube would probably be a good idea. I uh, don't need to go that way, but we want to go down here. I need to be able to get the cube and get back up there, but I need both the portals. There wasn't an angle, was there, to just drop back in there from up there? It's all very much tucked down here. So we need to be able to get up to the top there from actually down in there, which means that's where the speed gel track should be, right? So if we grab you and we make a speedy gel-based mess down here... Like, all the way across is probably a good idea to give you plenty of speed gel track. Uh, then if we left the one up there, can't make use of it at all, so no good. Can I see up there from down in here if we now do the blue on you? Is there an angle to see up to that panel? There is, right? So you can have the blue. Uh, I assume everything is as needed other than, well, wait, hold on, because you go off of there. We lose that panel at the top, right? So we need to just leave a panel down here, I guess. So let's put the blue up there, then leave the orange exactly where it is. Make sure you are below crotch height. That's as low as you'll go. And fling over to here, speedily into the door. Don't need that. But if we put the blue on one of these now, is it just a case of removing you? And that door will now work? Yeah, apparently. Uh, there is a fizzler here, but as it very specifically says in the description, Fizzlers between doors do not count. They're a security measure to keep you from screwing with aperture. Right, what have we got in here? Oh, high energy pellets. Yay, this might be the map where I finally take another high energy pellet to the face since it hasn't happened in a while. And those are the ones that pop, meaning I have to do whatever it is I have to do with you pretty bloody quick or you'll pop and be a pain in the ass. Uh, so where do you want to go? You want to go there via a bouncing diagonal, diagonal, right angle, bouncing right angle kind of maneuver up into you, 
which will apparently give us an elevator upward. So high energy pellet past all of this meshwork. Uh, what's down there? That. That is where we came in. We can ignore that. We're done with it. Uh, we want to get in there then, don't we? Without getting pelleted to the face. So you and you. Be aware. Oh, look. We're actually shell. Where is that bloody thing now? There it is. Hold on. You can never trust. There it is. You can never quite trust those things. So in here is a button. This button flips you around. So that's how we're going to get you out. A lot of glass work in here that I'm guessing leads through to more chamber. We've had like a hint of each chamber from what we can see from a previous chamber. Which is always quite nice. I always do find Portal 1 aesthetics just a little depressing though, right? Somehow these remind me of a padded cell. Don't ask how I know that. But they remind me of a padded cell, but you could actually hurt yourself on them. So not very useful in that manner. Although, weirdly appropriately aperture, right? If they were going to make a padded cell, it would be one you could hurt yourself in. So stand on you. And let's get this pellet out of here then, I guess. So if you have the blue, you'll send the pellet out there. And then I want to get out there really quick. But that is instantly going to kill me. So, wait, where's it gone now? It's back there. Uh, we don't want you doing that. We want you doing something I can make use of from out of there. So, I guess let's get you doing an angle in here first then. So we can have you doing other stuff. If we have you there, it doesn't really let me get back out. But I have to do all this so quickly is the annoying thing. Like that. And then where are you now? That to happen. Alright, you quick save me here. And now actually, now that I've actually taken a pellet to the face. There's our exit up there. Now that I've actually taken the pellet to the face, I feel like that's some of the pressure off. That's been a long time coming. Yeah, we can relax a bit now. And probably, presumably, take another one. You know, let's, let's quick save here just in case. Uh, yeah, I want to get that out of there. But in the least awkward pellet to the face manner possible. So let's go back inside then. Is there any way I can get into here? Nah, nowhere near. Okay, fine. We'll do it the more dangerous way. As intended. It's here. It's there. It's right next to me. Uh, let's get you out of here somehow then. So you do... No, we're going to need you to go into here. So that you come out of there. And if I put the orange there, you're going to keep bouncing along here. Then I want to get out of here. And then I want blue. Ah, so it's always going to pop before I have a chance to get out and do the thing. Yeah, that's why I don't like the high energy pellets. The green ones are a bit more like forgiving. So you don't have to do everything super quick. These ones, not so much. Uh, let's go press this again then. That was pretty close, wasn't it? Let's go press this again then and get try and get this out of here and do all of this mess as quickly as possible. So then orange there. I just need you to not be in my face for a moment basically so I have time to get out here and then work out where you are. Uh, blue there and then orange there. Oh crap, I should have been up on that. Fuck. Yeah. I should have been on that. So, basically that, right? But with me here. So, yeah. That's why the timing kind of sucks with these pellets. Uh, let's get a new one again, then. Uh, I want to go... Wait, where are you popping? You're just popping time-based-wise, aren't you? Yeah. Let's go in there and in there, then. That was close. Uh, let's get up on this button again. And we put blue and an orange... And then put the blue there. Then out of my way. Blue. Orange. Yeah, there it is again. Yeah, they're always so awkward to work with. I wish I had a cube. Cube would be very, very beneficial and make a lot of difference right now. But uh, that that is the puzzle, isn't it? Yeah, because we went through a fizzler. Fine, let's go battle timing in here again then. So, energy pellet goes past, I go past, try not to take another one to the face. Let's, uh... I mean, how long do you get with one? 
Like, one. It's not even like a full travel, is it? I swear it was doing more than that before. It's popping in midair now. Have I broken this somehow? I swear it had more travel time than that before. We've got that there. Let's do the blue there. And it's going to keep doing that. Is it going to come back and pop? No, look, it's got more travel now. Not a great deal. But it definitely has more travel. So can I get it to work with more travel in here? I mean, it seems quite happy to exist for quite a while now, doesn't it? Okay, can I work with that? You're going to keep going here. I should have had you not there. I should have had you there. So you keep existing there for me. I try to avoid you. Hold on a sec. So can I... There, that should work, right? Yeah, and you got there. Finally, yeah, okay. High energy pellets. Not my favorite testing element. Very dangerous. Burn your face. And always just kind of a bit weirdly unreliable, right? Uh, let's quick save up here. We've reached a new level of science. Again, with all the highly metallic padding. Uh, we've got a button here. Button here connects to laser emitter. No, it doesn't. It goes via the ceiling. Uh, laser doesn't burn. Probably good to know. That's where we came up. Where does that go then? That tracks all the way up there somewhere. Uh, we've got you. What are you? You? Ah. Uh, you? Ah. Uh, answers on a postcard. Oh, I know what you are. You're that very weird laser reflection cube, right? Yeah. With the, like, highly concentrated laser crystal, um... What's the name of that lens? I swear I know the name of that lens. I looked it up once because I was trying to build a projector years ago. Yeah, you know the ones I mean. These are what happens when time travelers come back and mess with the Portal 1 timeline and forcefully inject laser technology into old school aperture. Uh, that is just where we get a new one of them. There's where laser should clearly go. So there's nowhere that needs a laser for the moment, but there is a place that wants a cube. You sit in there. Ooh, fancy. Let's do that again. Oh, look at those fancy double splay of stairs. It's a very grand staircase. It's a sort of staircase when you enter a house and they got a staircase like that. You know they're overcompensating for something in the family history. Uh, black button? What does a black button do in this? Uh, you are doing... You are doing something down there. You're flipping a panel down there. Is that all you're doing? I believe that is all you're doing for now. There's a lot more stuff going on down there. Anywhere that needs a laser yet? There's appear to be. There's another panel up here. So where am I going whilst I'm up here? Is there any panels I can use? Well, there's that. What does that go to? Does it go to anything at all? Is that where I need to laser through, or is that where I need to go through? Regular cube down there. We're going to need at least three cubes. I'm not sure where to go, really, other than into there. But then, can I get back up? Let's do you, then. Gets us into here. What's this going on? Um... Very fancy flipping panel, right? Very elaborately designed panel that moves once all cubes are in place. You, what are you then? You are a flip around panel on a timer. There's more chamber over here with conveyance beam technology. Now, is that a hint of future chambers to come? Possibly. It's kind of hard to tell with some maps where you can see back and forth. Uh, that is just a chamber with doors at either end. There's that cube. And that is more chamber that we're yet to have to deal with. With another laser reflection cube up there. All right, what do you do? Uh, you. Uh, just another one of them. Okay. So I guess it would make sense to take you back to where we started. And put, like, the regular boring weighted cube in the panel that needs it. There's a laser receiver. Okay, yeah, okay. Let's get the regular cube back to the start then. So if we've got orange up there, uh, let's grab you flip this around, put blue upon it, 
and head back this way. Swap you into the thing where the laser reflection cube currently is. And that'll let us put the laser into that one panel there. You come off of here. Grand staircase goes away. Grand staircase returns. Let's put you over here to point into that panel there then. And you can have blue. And then if we go up here, uh, we can stand on this button and... What are you for? We can stand on this button here. And there was a panel that comes up down there, right? So you. And that has done... something? Ooh. A very, very fancy something. Can I have that back, please? Oh, you need the laser again, don't you? Uh, what have I used? So, orange on you. Yeah, well, that's pretty elaborate up there, isn't it? Um, very fancy panel maneuvers. So we need a cube to hold this down. So I guess I don't technically need that cube back there anymore? But I need that cube for this set of stairs, don't I? This is the only way up is through this panel, and that panel is meshed off. So how do I get that cube up now? Well, I could get a new one, but then I can't keep that. I need to keep that. So how do we do anything now? There wasn't another panel anywhere back here, was there, that I can make use of? Uh, was there a panel down the stairs? There probably shouldn't be a panel down the stairs. No, because that's where the fizzler, the allowed fizzlers actually are. So I want you, basically. You're right there. Why did I not notice you right there? How do I do that with leaving portal there for the laser, though? Let's see what we can do. Let's put a portal up on you. Gives the laser there. Doesn't really help for the moment. Uh, if we put the orange there, though, we can get up here easy enough. To place you on this one button here, which will give us that. Why are you not giving me that now? Oh, does a black button mean you only accept human weight? Yeah, you'll only accept shells, girth, right? And not the cube's mass? Okay, fine. Uh, you should probably go sit back on that button then, although we're going to need a bunch of cubes in the other room. But for the moment, you might as well sit there for me. Uh, we'll have you back. And we'll have whatever it is that opens up above back. And maybe we go up there first? So let's do there opens all of this up and I guess we could go ahead and just put a portal up there and go see what's going on up here. Uh, up here is another cube. Probably very, very useful. We're going to need that. I'm going to quick save here. I like all the pistons you can see everywhere to make all that happen. And uh, what's down here? Um, somewhere it looks like I want to lob a cube. Cube, go investigate. Is it safe? I guess we'll never know. Uh, yes, yes, it is safe. Right, this. Oh, this gets us down into here. Okay, fine. Uh, who wants a cube first? I didn't even see that. There was a hole there. Who wants a cube first, then? What do you do if you get applied with cube weight? If you take cube weight, you are just one of them. Everyone is just one of them. So everything now is just going back, right? Everything now is just going back into the previous areas? Pretty much. And then getting down here. And what were you connected to? And why do you aim over there? Is there a reason for you? Must be, right? Uh, let's try and get back down into here then. Is there any other way to do that other than with that one panel there? Not really. How do I get back up there is a good question now. Uh, we can do that with this one panel in the wall here. So if we do the blue there, that'll let us get back up. So we just want to basically get hold of these other two cubes, don't we? And get them down into there. Are you... permanent? You're that one over there, right? One of them at least, I believe. So we just want to basically drop back into you. So let's put the blue on you then. And... Well, we can get that cube in there, so let's just take this one. We do orange now on you. That lets us chuck you through, right? That hasn't gone away. If I chuck you in there, if I take you off of here, then we do lose that? Yeah, we do lose that. So you can go back on there. Means I have to go reset that again. But we can get that cube just from in there, right? That's where that cube originally came from. 
So let's go ahead and put a portal back on you and might as well, I suppose, use you then. Then you can go over here and sit into a, that one. And then just get a new one, right? You can go over here and do this button. And then that is the free cube requiring receptacle button down here, which opens up access to a whole other section. Things are moving. Fancy stairs. Okay, so we're going that way then. Yeah, fine, sure, we're going that way. And that is the high energy pellet we were looking at before. You can kind of see into each area from the previous area. This is the one that contains the bouncy stuff. So, two things on a timer. Huh? So, um... Something over there... Combined... Gives us both of these things on a timer. Huh? Which is up there... And... Up there. Okay, so how do I... Get stuff that's over there? No panels to use? Are these panelable? No, those are not panelable. There's no panel. I couldn't ride a conveyance beam up here. There's no panel directly across to ride into that. So we want to go up wherever it is we're going. But there's no real up, right? There's up. Uh, well, there's a cross and then there's up. What good is that? Maybe get some bouncy stuff out here. There's a place for a cube there. Let's hit quick save here. And see what this loop will actually give us. We can at least see up above and see if there's more stuff to mess with. So up there is a button. And yeah, we're doing the loop. Okay, I forgot that was going to happen already. So there's a button up at each one of those. So why do I want a button up at each one of those? And I'd like to get off of this merry-go-round now without going in the goo. So... Now, nope, nope, that's going to be very awkward. Could I just dive off here? Is that close enough? Yeah, that's close enough. Right, what do you do? You reversificate all of this. And that is pretty much it. I reckon I could get up to you from just dropping out of you, though. So let's do that and that. And sort of diagonal across here. Yep, that just about works. Right, you. Uh, you're the buttons that have got to be pressed in conjunction to actually go that way. I was thinking it was things to go this way. They do have quite a long timer on them though, so... Got to get to both of these things, press both of these buttons, and then we can go that way apparently. Which may or may not involve bouncy blue stuff. To get a cube to reversificate you. For some reason. So how do we get to the other one then? Uh, what could we do to get to the other one? You and you should make a mess over there. I'd quite like that mess to be more on the floor though, if I'm completely honest. Are you not gonna let me have that mess more on the floor? Uh, we could probably catch it though, couldn't we? If we did blue on... No, 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 not around that way. It's the other way. Uh, so let's have the blue on you. Start making a mess again. Then it's the orange goes on the ceiling to capture some of that. And then I just want to sort of touch this to blob the floor. Which didn't blob the floor as effectively as I'd like. Can I use that tiny little corner's worth there? Is that enough to get up here? It is not. Okay, fine. Um... Well, I suppose if we moved where everything is, we could get up there easy enough. If we did you and you, right, road across, and then before we get to the ceiling one, we move the orange to you. That's probably a quicker way to get up there than trying to bounce. There is clearly some need to bounce, though. So you go there, right? And then, uh, not this one, this one. Let's me get up to this. So then what would be a good way to be able to do both of those? I could just jump back in, couldn't I? Because this is the other half, right? This is the other half of that combination down there. Uh, there's no panels up here. So couldn't I just, like, get back in that? Is it close enough? There's a bit of floor here, right? Is it just 
it's not quite close enough that I could get back in it, is it? Which is probably the reason. Um, yeah, so what's the correct combo? And you do want a cube at some point. Let's uh, jump back down here then. Let's do you. No, I said let's do you. And you. If we move the blue just in time that we can get up there. Jump out of that one. Into here. And I can't just get into there. Unless I could get a blob of blue gel up here, which would be perfect for that. But I can't. So how can I get over to that quick enough now? You're not anywhere near where I could be caught from, are you? No. So is that enough time for me to go around all of that again? Maybe if we were really, really quick about it? I don't like it, though. Uh, let's do you. Let's do you. You, I said. Right, you, you. Thank you. I'll aim for that one specific pixel. Uh, let's quick save here. Is there a better way to do this? Where could I make a mess with blobs of blue gel that would be more beneficial? Like, if the floor was coated there, you could bounce back up. I don't really want that there, though. I want it the other places. Um... Go do that one. Then into there. So that we can get up there. Possibly. Let's try that then. Right across this way. Then move the orange to you. Uh, where am I now? I'm over here. Let's do this one here then. Can't quite make you. But if we reposition the orange for you so that I can get back to there relatively quickly just in enough time but then I've apparently got to get all the way back over there as well which sounds absolutely horrible so oh no we don't need to re-portal right we don't need to ride the conveyance beams again we could do blue because we know that was just about close enough so let's grab you try and get over here as quickly as possible then into the corner here hit you that is giving me two things and that is open over there there's no way in hell I'm gonna get over here in anywhere near enough time before this runs out okay maybe we just do in fact make it okay that was stressful uh, we do have a cube in here those things are still ticking away hopefully that doesn't mess with anything in here laser receptor to do both the light bridge and lower this elevator platform. We need a laser. We do have a laser reflection cube. Oh, that's deadly deadly goo. That is incredibly disguised deadly deadly goo. That's barely fucking noticeable on my screen. Uh, let's go up there, since that's where the laser exists. Using you. Check for goo. Safe. What do you do then? So you are uh, that panel on a timer. What is the point of that panel on a timer? Well, it would give us the laser, right? But isn't that too high? Like if we did there, that's a very high up laser. I don't want a high up laser. Uh, if you were more over there, you would in theory line up with the elevator? Yeah, but that elevator needs to be down. So where's the actual laser receptor again? There is a laser receptor somewhere, right? How did I miss where the laser receptor is? There was definitely a laser receptor somewhere. At least, technically there should be. Let's have you down there. What did I miss? It's there. So everything is sort of awkwardly high up really for that, isn't it? So what is the combo for you? Probably with the light bridge, but I kind of feel like I need the laser to have the light bridge in the first place. I mean, I could go manually adjust you. I guess you kind of give me just enough timer. I'd have to do it from down there, though. So if we put the orange on you, put the blue on you, 
press U and got back down here as quickly as possible. Then we put the blue on you. I grab you. Can I manually mess with you? Yeah. Right. So then I could could get on there. Yeah, maybe it's that. Okay, so let's do that again. Then let's have the blue back up there. Go up to this side again and press U. Get back down here as quickly as possible. Then we put the blue on you. We get the laser here. Then I manually point you into there. Elevator comes down and I get on it. And it takes me up to up to here where there is a door and there is celebratory noises does that mean i won I, I think i won oh confetti confetti and a radio which means i have to take the radio to the end um is this i have the results of the last chamber you do because i'd like to hear him horrible person that's what it says a horrible person i know i've heard you that since my school days love no no it's that hidden personality test that you don't get till you apply to the army and then get uh, get rejected, which is rather embarrassing. Um, yeah, okay, weird, right? A bunch of stuff that I don't know what was going on with in there. But, hooray, we made it, we fizzled the radio, we got some confetti, everyone's happy. Maybe that's the tease. The tease is never not quite knowing. That was teased by Tinfoil906. So a very big thank you to Tinfoil906 for that one. I feel like I might have very much cheesed some parts of that, but um, I don't at all feel guilty because, well, I'm a horrible person, apparently. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.